came home and I turned on the weather and the wind is currently blowing 20 miles an hour out there. So instead, I'm gonna eat pork rinds and clean the house, cause look at those dishes. We'll try to drone tomorrow. All right, I'm getting a little bit of a later start than I intended because I had to go to work first. We had some automation problems that I had to fix real quick, but that's okay. Still here. I'm gonna be real honest with you. I had a rough night last night. I didn't party hard. I didn't drink too much wine. I woke up at 2 a.m., okay? And my stomach was like, Ugh! until about 4.30. And I originally had planned to come to World's Fair Park two hours ago. It's 11.17, still very exhausted, still have to go to work after this. Got my energy drink. <coughs> You'll be proud of me because I finally bought an SD card for the Mavic Mini. I was recording everything onto my iPhone 10 and saving it there, but that really decreases the quality of the video. So I finally got a micro SD card. One last sip of this. I should have used the bathroom before I came here. So my plan for today was, is, you guys might have seen the Sun Sphere. If you've watched Ken's video, you've seen it. You know, if you've been to Knoxville, you've seen it. But then I started thinking, what is it with Knoxville and balls? They were like golden nuggets to that boy. Knoxville has a huge pair of balls just out for everybody to see. Cause you've seen these balls. So I decided that I'm gonna show you those balls today. Let's go to World's Fair Park now. Get my little stickaroos. People be doing the most during this quarantine. The Knoxville Sun Sphere is probably actually one of the most distinctive things about Knoxville. It was built in the 1982 World's Fair. When it came to town, the project was started in November 1979. It has 360 panes of glass. Each pane of the glass cost $1,000 on average at the time of the construction, which is freaking crazy and is about 14,000 square feet of just glass and there's even a restaurant at the very tip top that can seat about 300 people and during the period of the world's fair the restaurant was managed <laughs> by hardy's oh there's the sun sphere so now i'm headed to what i think is one of the most beautiful spots of world's fair park there's a little river that runs through it but they have this little waterfall i'm really hoping that they have the water turned on and i bet they don't because of you know trying to make people stay at home but you can't stop me, you filthy coppers. Mm. So I really hope the water's running. If not, it's gonna be pretty anticlimactic. Can I just say, wow, what a difference an SD card makes <laughs> when you're not filming it on your phone. Wow, what a concept. Here. They don't have the water on yet. So this shot isn't gonna be as pretty as it could be because the water's not on, but you'll get the point. The Sun Sphere stands at 266 feet high and 26 stories tall. The 24 karat gold dusted filled glass paneled ball is 75 feet in diameter. That is one bougie ball. The Sun Sphere and the amphitheater are the only two remaining structures from the 1982 World's Fair. The observation deck features a gallery of Knoxville images as well as information on Knoxville and the World's Fair and offers a crazy awesome 360 degree view of Knoxville. So in that last clip, you saw a little park hob guy who was very obviously watching me. So I'm just gonna get my shit and go before he confronts me about anything because I don't handle confrontation very well. <laughs> just a little, add a little bonus bonus. Y'all wanna see some colorful stairs? Did you say no? 
was too damn bad! I didn't know this, but these stairs are actually known as the hypnotic stairs. These steps are right across the road from World's Fair Park. It was actually done in 2017. And that is all the information I have on these stairs. got toe Steve. The cop made me feel uneasy, even though he didn't say anything to me. And I could fly there. I guess I feel like I'm not educated enough in the world of droning to be able to hold my own if someone were to challenge me. Not challenge me, that's a bit dramatic. You get what I'm saying. So let's go see if that second ball <coughs> is available. There she is! I'm really freaking sad because I just sat in my beautiful blue car for 20 minutes, no joke, trying to get Lance flight approval to fly around this ball that I'm about to show you, and I can't. So instead, I'm gonna do a little bit of jaywalking if you don't mind, and I'm just gonna have to show you on my phone. So here's the other ball that exists in Knoxville. This is so anticlimactic now! I'm pissed! Alright, here it is! Boop! In a big basketball! Boop, boop, boop. So anyways, I was gonna go fly over there. I guess I could cross the street. We just gonna keep jaywalking. What an adventure we are on today, everyone. I was gonna make really bad jokes about balls, but here we go. And Knoxville is actually home to the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame, and it's the only facility of its kind dedicated to all levels of women's basketball. But it's also home to the world's largest basketball. The Baden ball measures 30 feet tall and weighs 10 tons. I wonder if I can get closer. I mean, the worst they can tell me to do is get off the property, right? It even has characteristics of a real basketball and has 96,000 dimples which is almost as many dimples as the back of my thighs during this quarantine and stress eating. Was today a total buzz? No. And I'm trying not to be too sad about not being able to drone up there. But hey, still got some cool shots of the sun sphere. Still almost ran into a cop. Showed you Knoxville's balls. They were like golden nuggets. Today's not a total bust. I got to get out and I got to fly. So it's a good day. So there's that ball. And then right across from it, <laughs> past downtown, there's the other ball, Knoxville and its balls. Well, thanks for coming along with me, even though it didn't. It was beautiful, and I finally got to get out and fly. Finally got an SD card, and you still saw the second ball, even though I didn't get to fly it. So, thanks for going on this adventure with me. I'm gonna go to work now. I cannot believe I almost forgot the most important part, our local drone expert. Okay, Beans, you've seen me doing some editing. Um, I've shown you the drone video. Your opinions, please. I, I woke her up from a nap, so she's kind of grumpy. All right, thank you for your opinion. Thank you. All right, well, you heard it here, folks. Me, local drone expert Beans here. We will see you next time. What are you doing, sweet girl? Thank you for always giving me your opinions and all your love. Oh, goodness, thank you. I'm sorry I woke you up, but the people love you. They ask for you, Beans, by name. They're probably getting hungry. It's dinner time. Let's go feed you. Come on.